Hello guys, so I'm sorry I haven't done a video for a while. I do have one planned, or I did have one planned. I filmed it and stuff, but I just hadn't got around to editing it and stuff. You may know I'm in or doing my last year at university. So this first semester I've had to be doing my dissertation, which is like a really big, important 10,000 word essay. So pretty much most of my time has been devoted to that. I was planning on doing monthly monthly favourites as I usually do but that just went out of the window. So but my, I'm very pleased to say that my dissertation is largely finished now. I just need to proofread it, check my reference and it's okay and everything but it is coming up to Christmas. We are in like less than a week from Christmas now. It's crazy. Um, so I thought as a little treat since it is Christmas and I have been working very hard on my dissertation that I would order myself some, some stuff from Lush because if you don't know since about April this year um, since I went shopping in Lush with my friend I've been obsessed with Lush and it's a little bit naughty of me but I do still have some of the stuff that I originally have from April she really should have been used by now but anyway i'm just very sparing with my lush stuff you have another lush package that is a christmas present from my friend so i won't be opening that until christmas day and probably won't film it but i am thinking of doing a 2015 lush haul showing you what i can show you of what i've bought this year from lush what i've enjoyed what i've not enjoyed but anyway that's aside from the point this is not what this video is about so I, this is my Lush box, it came today and as soon as I got given it from the postman I was just like because I could smell it all already and I was just so excited to open it all but I thought I'd wait and I thought I'd uh, film an unboxing video since I haven't been doing any videos for a very long time um, Lush is an entirely like eco-friendly company and stuff they don't test any of the products on animals and they also don't buy ingredients that have been tested on animals and they usually have these potato starch filling uh, or packaging to protect the products because none of the solid products are actually wrapped in order to save plastic and food. well i assume this is the case for all the christmas boxes that people are buying the uh, little starch worm things are shaped like stars so that I got off my friend the sticker where it says who packed it that's a Christmassy one as well so I already know what I've bought because I bought it uh, I don't know what most of it smells like because uh, I did smell some of it in the store in the shop near me which is the Manchester one it was just too full of smells so I've got uh, the ingredients here and stuff so as I'm going through them to save me looking through this which is the Lush Times um, that you get I didn't even ask for this but they sent it me anyway um, this has all of the products in it also has all of the seasonal ones because it's the winter one so but what I got was Cinder's Father Christmas Twilight So, so White Dreamtime, Melting Marshmallow Moment and Snow Melt. So, first product that I can see on the top is uh, the Dreamtime one. Now I'm a little bit disappointed in the size of this because I have already had a sneaky look in the box but I thought that this would be so much bigger than it was. Just like I did, I got the Dream Steam tab and I thought that was so, going to be so much bigger than it was because did just look so much bigger in the photos which is a little bit misleading but it's a little purple cube it's about eh, an inch and a half also across it's got a gold luster z on it it's also got purple luster and stuff i don't know how well you can see that on my finger but it's melting already because this is i think as i understand it a bath melt yes it's a luxury bath melt i'm not sure whether this is specific to winter or not because i have bought products specifically because they are winter slash christmas ones because they aren't going to be around forever and from what i've seen of youtubers like boxes of foxes 
they've said that they don't always bring them back which is a bit of a shame but anyway so this is dream time it smell it's got organic shea butter organic cocoa butter lavender oil extra virgin coconut oil ginger oil sandalwood oil uh, chamomile blue oil jasmine absolute almond oil purple raspberry and gold luster citral journal oil limonene limaloo and perfume you can smell the lavender I'll give it that. Um, you can smell the ginger, and you, I think you can smell the chamomile as well. But I got this mainly because I've been really struggling to sleep, and I've just been really tired recently. So hopefully, this should help with that problem. Next product that I can see from the top is melting marshmallow moment which is another luxury bath melt <laughs> um, this is what I could smell from the box it's very 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 pungent it smells like rockstar if you know what rock the soaps rockstar smells like from Lush as I understand it as well the I think it's a, either a soap a shower gel well I mean they name it different names like snow fairy um candy mountain but it, it smells like that it's very candy it's very candy and very sweet it really does smell like rockstar though um so this it's a uh, small about again one and a half inches diameter um circle bath melt it's about half about a centimeter and a half maybe half an inch um deep and it's orange on one side pink on the other and it is melting on my fingers um while i was holding it then it's got um sodium bicarb or fair trade organic cocoa butter organic shea butter some stuff that i can't really pronounce <laughs> um extra virgin coconut oil almond oil caramel powder marshmallow powder marigold powder um and then just the colors and stuff so lush as i understand it they only use safe synthetics in their products but um that's what it says so anyway you can see i i'm very excited about trying this sort of product because i've seen youtubers like graveyard girl boxes of foxes talking about it and they go a long way apparently and it's something unique and stuff i mean you could make your own with like gelatin and stuff but it's one of the shower jellies it's called whoosh and i don't know whether this was a lush kitchen exclusive or not i can't remember exactly but i can't i was i didn't know that the ingredients were on this little insert so i was trying to find them online and i couldn't find for the life of me i couldn't find whoosh so but it's a blue ish bright bluish uh see-through jelly um you can't even see it there it smells it's citrusy and it's supposed to help wake you up in the morning when you have your shower which will be good for me because I'm so tired all the time um, but it smells you can smell the citrus and it smells a lot like the lemon lemony flutter uh, cuticle cream that they do and it's sort of wobbling and stuff you can sort of see it wobbling there um, but yeah it's got when I can locate it you know it's not even on there if you bear with me a minute I'll just root it out in the thing because i do know it's already in the, i do i do know it's, it's in got there. honey water um carrageen extract perfume fresh orange organic lemon juice fresh grapefruit juice fresh organic lime juice grapefruit oil rosemary oil geranium oil and various other things in there and it does smell very nice i will admit I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of citrusy smelling products, but that does smell nice, and I think I am 
I'm excited to try it. Another one of the Lush shower jellies that I, I really want to try is the 93,000 miles I think it's called because I've started doing a lot more exercise recently and that's supposed to be really good for like tired and achy muscles and stuff. So but I think Wush would be good as well for using when you're having a shower after you've worked out or something because it's just very like pow and zingy and citrusy and stuff and I think it would go really well with the original source shower gel that I use which is the mint and tea tree one so the next one which I've managed to salvage from the very very very, very bottom of the box it was buried underneath a load of the um, packaging and stuff is the snow white uh, sorry snow melt uh, bath melt um, it doesn't It doesn't really have that much of a smell. It smells familiar though, and I can't place. It smells like something I've already got. And I can't think what it is. It's gonna really bug me. No, I can't think of what it is. Um, but it has sodium bicarb, organic cocoa butter, um, cream of tartar, citric acid, Sicilian lemon oil, organic illip or lilip butter, um, extra virgin coconut oil, organic jojoba oil, olibanium oil, peppermint oil, carrageen extract, um, snowflake luster, pearl white luster, silver glue luster because it is, it's a little bit shiny as well, it, it, it does look very dully grey though i have to admit and it's very squishy i mean i'm not really putting a lot of pressure on it and i've made a thing i didn't in it so but yeah i can't place what it smells like though come back to me on that one just backtracking a bit onto snow melt it's i didn't really describe well you can see what it is pretty much it's a bowl but it's about maybe an inch inch and a half two inches across but anyway so i'll uh, I will excavate the next one that's a bit buried. I think it, we're on to the bath bombs now because I bought a few uh, bath bombs as well. Now this one I didn't actually smell in store. The, ooh, ooh, that is the one that I could smell. I'm getting bath bomb powder up my nose, but ooh, giddy god's pajamas. That that's the one I could smell from the box. Oh, that smells good. Oosh. This is the uh, Father Christmas bath bomb. He's pink, mostly, and then his jolly little happy face is all white. Um, he is sodium bicarb, citric acid, cream of tartar, gardenia extract, um, synthetic musk, and a lot of other things I don't think would really affect the smell. But I can't. It smells familiar again, and I can't place it, damn. But my god, that smells good. Oh. Mm. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that smells gorgeous. Bloody hell. But um, that Father Christmas one, good lord above. That, that, I mean, what I usually do with my Lush bath, bombs and bubble bars and stuff is I split them into sections I don't use the whole thing at once because I think that's a bit wasteful I mean I know you don't get as much of the experience then but it does go a little bit long a bit further even um the next bath bomb that I have is another one of the Christmas ones and this one is the so white oh oh that smells like the fly spray we used to use when it had the old smell that is strange it smells like a mixture of the fly spray that we used to have and we've currently got this um apple disinfectant and it smells like that i'm um, i like it and everything but i, I just can't help but think the fly spray smell um, but this, uh, I know this one has apple in it, 
but it should smell like apple anyway. Um, this one has sodium bicarb, citric acid, cream of tartar, bergamot oil, rose absolute, orange flower absolute and neroli oil among a few other ingredients. Yeah, it does smell like apples. I mean, I was reading the reviews on all of these as well and this one people said that it smelled like a crisp apple it does smell like an apple don't get me wrong it also my dad used to get this apple shampoo from asda like way back when when the smart price logo was still that little like fox and it smells like that as well that is actually what it smells like it doesn't smell that now i'm smelling it more it doesn't really smell that much like the fly spray or the disinfectant it doesn't smell like a it smells like a synthetic apple smell though but i guess we'll see when i uh start using it as um, it is intended the next christmas one or the final winter christmas one that i have is um called cinders and oh that's cinnamony oh oh that's a uh, set me twitchy twitch reflex after that that smells i mean it's it's smaller than the other bath bombs um, it, it's orange with a bit of popping candy in it as I believe that smells I mean um, aside from being a lush addict I'm also a Yankee Candle addict and I have a Yankee Candle um, I can't think for the life of me what it's called Bear with it. I mean I'm not the biggest fan of that smell but it smells just like that yeah it smells just like cranberry zest yeah it's cinnamony i remember this was one of the ones i was looking at in store and the lush shop assistant person was cleaning out the box and stuff and i was looking to have a sniffle of it and she was saying that this is really good for like um cold winters nights and stuff and when you've had like a long hard day it does smell nice. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of cinnamon, but it does smell nice. Um, but anyway, this one has sodium bicarb, citric acid, coarse sea salt, popping candy, gardenia, almond um, essential oil, sweet orange oil, cinnamon leaf oil, and a lot of different other things in it. Um, but yeah, not to dwell on it too much, but it does smell okay though i mean it's bearable excuse me yeah it is bearable um but anyway bath bomb i'm not sure what i don't think this is a chris or a winter exclusive but again i saw boxes of foxes talking about it and this is one of her favorite um smells from lush and this is the twilight bath bomb i can't i don't think i saw this in the manchester stores i looked in both yarndale and the city center store oh look I'm, I'm getting a whiff of lavender there mm. you know when you're sitting on a bus and there's a guy i mean this, this is gonna like really might put you off but and there's a guy and there's a, a slight aroma that he might have peed himself it's like lavender mixed with that it's strange but it's nice it's like nice smelling old man pee as, <laughs> as weird as that sounds Ooh. I don't know whether this is just my one or not and well, whether it is actually supposed to smell like this but that's strange but yeah it's the sort of I, I assume this is the standard lush size for bath bombs but it's got like a moon and stars embossed into it but yeah that is bizarre I mean I'm sorry lush if I'm putting customs off by saying that it smells like old man pee but that is weird that is bizarre what are the ingredients um sodium bicarb citric acid cream of tartar lavender oil that's a given Be benzoin resinoid whatever the hell that is punker absolute and ylang ylang oil 
That is bizarre. I mean, the more I'm smelling it, I can smell the lavender, don't get me wrong, but yeah, it just smells like old man. Ooh, that is bizarre though. That is bizarre. I, I mean, I hope I'm not putting anybody off getting the Twilight bath from because, I mean, the proof of the pudding isn't eating and, I mean, you know, you might not be able to smell the same things that I can smell. Yes. But anyway, um, that was my lush winter haul or something. I might get some more in the new year. I'm looking forward to seeing what the Valentine's collection is like. Um, but yeah. On the whole, I'm pretty chuffed with what I've got. I mean, some of it I kind of knew what it was going to smell like, and some there were a few surprises, like the uh, <laughs> Twilight bath bomb. But um, some of these might end up being in my favourites video for the end of the year because I'm thinking I'm just going to start doing my favourites video by seasons and stuff. But yeah. Um, I hope you got some enjoyment of seeing my. <laughs> reactions to the yeah. smells. I'm looking forward to using some of these and we'll I'll try and give you a reasonable review on them when I've used them. So you can if you want to of course subscribe, like the video, etc etc. Um uh, you can follow me on Instagram at the Rivian. And yeah I think that's it. So I don't know whether this will go up before Christmas and New Year but and if it does then I wish you all a very happy Christmas and I hope that 2016 even is amazing for you I mean 2015 is just all like blinking you missed it so I can't believe we're on the 18th of December already where has this year gone like in on Monday the 21st of December it's six months to my birthday hell ugh Gosh, where are the years going? Anyway, I'll uh, see you later, guys. Bye.